Okay, I will take a snapshot before installing the DFS. As we can see here, it's percentage of completion. Okay, now it succeeds. I insert the media. And start installing TFS Express. So now this is a configuration center of Team Foundation Server Express. We can use this new server configuration wizard to configure the source control work item build service and the installing SQL Express too. And we can use this configuring team foundation build service if we want to configure a build service on this machine. Or maybe we want to configure a build server or build service on a different machine. So we, we will use this configuration in this case. Okay, let's using new server wizard just telling me that the uh, team foundation server will install and the sql express will be automatically installed and here is the port okay we can click next or verify first when the next is verified but the next is once it's verified it's installed directly but you can verify first before you install if you want just to verify and then install okay Sorry, if you want to verify and then configure. And I configure. Start now configuring. As we can see now, we finish. So this is the address of the TFS. This is not a web application, but it's, as we know, or uh, for your information, the TFS working on the IIS. So this is the address that will be used to connect to the TFS. Let's close. So now, as we can see the build service not installed yet because build service and other components of the TFS like lab management uh, and most of the component need the TFS service installed and configured before we can configure other service be because the configuration will be on the default collection or, or, or the collection so we need to install and configure TFS service before the, the build and lab management it can be work so let's start the wizard so the first thing is trying asking me where is the collection that you, we want to configure uh, the build service for. So I just right click here. So as we can see, just observing uh, the current collection. If we go to the build service, it will asking me use the default settings. How many agents I want to uh, install? It's depend on the number of cores I have. So if I have four cores, it will show me that I can have uh, four agents and so on and so forth. So uh, it is recommended to keep separate uh, build agent from uh, intensive processing uh, on a different machine. So let's work with the default as a one agent. And here is the account. We will use the default account as a local services. In an enterprise installation, we have not we have it is better that we configure service account for each services and for more information you can see an enterprise installation and configuration guide for TFS uh, 2010 and this is a huge uh, guide that has about 90 videos how to install TFS uh, 2010 in enterprise uh, configuration uh, and how to create the service accounts and configure all uh, a complex installation but this is of course uh, a simple installation so we'll click service uh, next let's configure now it succeed next so now I as we can see now we closed installing the TFS and configure and then installing and configure TFS build service 
this is the team foundation server administration console now we can see here the application tier so we can here change the account manage the settings here adding more admin to the administration console if we want go to, go to, to the team project collection here so we can create a new project attach or deattach collection status and here is a team project lab management if you want to configure lab management and here is the build we can see here that the build is running green this is the build controller and we have only one build agent here is the log so now the TFS Express is installed I will install team explorer so we can create a new project and start to connect to it okay I will insert the media Okay, I will choose oh, I agree it's better to join the customer experience install so we'll just launch the team explorer so now the team explorer is launched so we can start connecting to team foundation server as we can see here I will create new team project called TFS EG. Okay, now the project finished. I will go and open the web access. When I installed the Windows, I didn't create a password for my account, but this will prevent me from accessing the web access. So I go to, to computer management and start giving my account a password so I can access this. So as we can see here is the web access of our project and we can go to work. And if any one of you saw the, the team web access for the TFS, normal TFS, not the express, he will notice that the team web access here is missed two feature, new feature introduced in TFS, which are backlog and task board, which is uh, very powerful tools. But this, because a TFS express as a free edition, it doesn't has these features. So after all, now we have a TFS Express installed, we can work with SharePoint, we working with SQL Express, we didn't have a task board or backlog, but we have most of the TFS Express uh, functionality, source control, web access and build, and I think that most of the small teams need.